October 2011. Around the world, devoted fans mourned the death of Steve Jobs, the force of nature behind Apple. He distorted reality. It's a mixture of charisma, um, chutzpah, bullshit, self-belief, self-delusion, and insane ambition. Apple's high-tech products have inspired fervor. Oh, it's beautiful. It's very sexy. Defining cool consumerism for a worldwide tribe, hyped by the man who personified the brand. It works like magic. They look so good, you kind of want to lick them. It's unbelievable. No one had quite that mixture of arrogance, humility, talent and presence which Steve Jobs had. He's changed music, he's changed movies, he's changed computers a couple times. He's created industries that we didn't think we needed. Jobs was a perfectionist. To Steve, everything was about taste, just like someone writing a great piece of music. And a tyrant. Steve Jobs yelling at you with his full force is kind of a, a pretty frightening thing for most people. How did a drug-taking college dropout create one of the most successful corporations in the world? His hippie background made him a better billionaire. This is the inside story of how Steve Jobs took Apple from a suburban garage to global supremacy. Apple has never been an entirely conventional company. Come gather around people wherever you roam. Its roots lie in California in the 1960s and 70s, where the young Jobs found himself at the center of two colliding worlds, the hippie movement and computers. If your time to you is worth saving, then you better start swimming or you sink like a stone. We spent a lot of time driving around in his old Volvo. And I don't remember ever listening to anything other than Bob Dylan tapes. We would play them over and over again. Born in 1955, Jobs was adopted by a modest family and grew up in the Santa Clara Valley. It was becoming better known as Silicon Valley as high-tech firms sprang up. And nearby, San Francisco was becoming the epicenter of the counterculture. Jobs opened himself up to both. He's got a lot of compartments in his mind. He was intense and thoughtful, and I liked that about him. 